anything that causes mobility and mortality needs to be reduced. In Africa, we have what we call the double burden of disease, that is infectious diseases and non-communicable diseases. But the, the thing is that uh, we're having a rise in cardiovascular diseases while we have not sorted out all these other issues, which, you know, of, sort, of course, increases the burden to the community from a health point of view, but also from a societal and economic point of view. And that's all the more important reason for us to, as it were, nip the cardiovascular epidemic in the, in the bud. We sort of, at that stage in the epidemiological transition, where maybe incident cardiovascular disease is not as much, it's still more than we would want, but we have this rise in risk factors. So, you know, diabetes, hypertension, weight, and it is really our obligation to deal with that so that we don't get the full-blown uh, epidemic of cardiovascular disease. Often, we, the various stakeholders in the field of cardiovascular care, you know, meet separately. So, for example, as a clinical academic cardiologist, I go to cardiac conferences and all that. And in those conferences, I don't get to interact with policymakers, with, you know, payers, with patient groups and all that. So, uh, a meeting like this then brings in the different stakeholders that, you know, all add value to the table to meet together. And again, our scientific conferences probably of, uh, concentrate on clinical care. And I think a conference like this is particularly important in reminding us about the basic thing, which is, which is prevention. Get all the players into one room, throw away the key, and tell them that we are not going to get you out of this place until you agree to work together. And I'm particularly looking at the guys who control the resources, who are our politicians. <laughs> <laughs>